Hello! Welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that was shared to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up in, in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so... Before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so I apologize for the very late, late post, okay? But I'm not going to go to sleep without posting, okay? So, the intuitive message I have for you guys is, And God supported and supplied everything you needed at the right time. You are loved. You are his child. You are his baby, no matter the age. Blessings are going to be just dropping from left to right along your journey in life. <clears throat> Synchroni uh, synchronicities will keep you encouraged and, and assured that you are making the right decisions. You got more confident <clears throat> on where God is leading you. And God has been shedding your skin. You, as you walk along this journey of life and go through these cycles of life, you are evolving to higher belief systems. God is pulling you out of tough cycles currently. God is and was fighting with and for you. God is the eyes behind your back in the ears that you cannot see. God is every breath that you take. <sighs> that breath, okay, is literally God. God breathed life into us, which means we hold God's oxygen. God is our oxygen. God is, God is making our heart beat at certain paces. It's God. It's not us right? Give all glory to God. Because of everything that you've been through, you know that it was God who has been there, you know? And sometimes you be so dark, you it, the situation be so dark, or you be so deep into it that you may not feel God. But just because you feel God, you don't feel God doesn't mean he's not there, you know? And that's something I definitely had to realize in my life. Like, just because I didn't feel him at those times, it's, it wasn't his fault. You know, <clears throat> I'm not blaming God for anything. I'm feeling like you're not the type of person to blame God, you know, because at the end of the day, you made those decisions, right? I made those decisions. We made decisions. God didn't whisper in our ear and say, go down the wrong path. No, but he's going to lead you back to the right path. God has always detoured you. He's always been that angel for you. The almighty angel, the omega angel. God is amazing. And, oh, that's another thing. I was seeing that you go through miracles, you go through breakthroughs when you have that ultimate faith and you're praising God through the, the destruction, praising God through the chaos, not letting the chaos take over you, but letting God overpower everything you've been through let god flood his energy through your life and it's like yes <clears throat> when you're going through certain situations it may make you bitter it may make you evil it may make you angry and you may react in such a negative way yes i've acted that way before but then i'm becoming more aware of if try to pray and praise god turn on some gospel music turn on something that can 
puts you in the highest frequency during the darkest hour of your life, you know? And that's that's what you've done, or that's what you're doing. This is past, present, or future energy. <clears throat> God eases your mind. God is your defense mechanism. God encourages you through his people and through videos and through spoken words. And then I'm hearing also on Instagram, I got so like, I can definitely relate to that when I was writing these messages down with the Instagram thing. Cause it's like, every time I go on Instagram, I get all of these people praying for you. I get all of these positive messages, these positive numbers, like so much stuff that fills my spirit and it just encourages me like i remember i used to go on instagram and it used to make me it used to discourage me until i started unfollowing all my local people you know people who are not really doing stuff with their lives people who post in fights people who just exposing their life in a negative way um in a negative light and it's just like that's that's projection we have to be very mindful of what we're allowing to project to us. That's why I don't be on Facebook like that, like at all. I have a Facebook, but I don't be on it because it's too local for me. People project, I'm so depressed. I'm so, call, say that to God. You don't have to say it to us, you know. I realize venting on social media and posts and stuff like that isn't good. Like just consistently thinking that, like wanting people to feel better bad for you or to acknowledge you i want god to acknowledge me you know i like to vent to you guys about like just not even vent just update you guys about what i'm going through currently because you know i'm i'm a human i'm a human being i'm not a know-it-all person and yes i go through cycles just just as you guys it's just i'm being in a in the public eye with it you know i'm going through it publicly and I'm not afraid to express what I'm going through, you know? Uh, and plus, I like to tell you guys about the good things I'm going through, too. So, But I don't want to just, like, I'm not going to sit here and vent to you guys about all this negative stuff that I feel is negative in my life. So you guys can, I don't want you guys to feel bad or feed into that energy like, oh, my God, well, I'm pretty. Like, I don't want you guys to feel that way. I want to give you guys messages that up, uplift your spirit. I don't want you to be like, oh, but she's... I'm so sorry for you, but, and then you think about me when the video is over and it's just negative things like, oh, she might be going through this right now. Like, no, like I'm a, I'm a do that shadow work, you know, I'm gonna do what I need to do to heal, cleanse, release, heal, cleanse, release, repeat, repeat, repeat. We doing that every month, every week, every day. That's what you have to do. Like you can't, there ain't no stopping with healing. Like you're going to continue to uncover things, discover things release things accept things like it's a whole process it's a whole cycle in life and sometimes when people are not doing enough shadow work you have to do that every month there's something that you haven't healed from there's something that you haven't acknowledged and it doesn't have to be super traumatic it could be something little but guess what it's gonna keep coming every moon phase every full moon like any of the phases it's gonna affect you it's gonna bring something up for you to release you know let go or to even acknowledge your growth and stuff like that but um yeah i just want to say it again god is amazing and he's going to be taking you to amazing places you are on this amazing journey with god and i wouldn't want to go through life without god you know and i feel that's the way you guys are doing it too like i'm no longer living without god i wasn't even living without god like i just started living you know so, um, yeah, let's shuffle some cards and see what we can get for you guys. And then I'll close this message out. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it short so um, we can go on to the next video. So I'm hearing. Got three cards for you guys. Fortune cookie. So it's like I'm seeing all these questions and wondering what the future holds for you. You know, you may be asking God a lot of questions or you may be questioning your life and its direction and stuff. Um, great things are happening. Great things are. That's what you what I'm going to squeeze this in right here with the wishbone, because when I said that it, it felt like an affirmation. Great things are happening to me every day. 
Every day I walk into new blessings. I open my spirit up to God's divinely blessings. You know, just giving consent to these blessings in your life. Um, fortune also with just not knowing, not knowing what the future holds for you. Like, no, I don't know everything that's going to happen in my life, you know. But I do know certain things. God gives me glimpses of certain things. He gives me awareness of certain things in my life. Um, but I'm feeling like regardless of what cookie you open, it's going to be, <clears throat> regardless of what decision you make, it's going to turn out positive. You can say that regardless of what decision I make, it's going to turn out positive. No matter how my life is looking right now, it's going to be positive. I only accept positivity in my life. I transmute all negative energy. No net, all negative energy dies in my org field. Wishbone and affirmation. Just saying daily positive affirmations. I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. I get blessings every day. All these positive affirmations for yourself. Reprogramming your mind, you know, to only have, to have more positive thoughts than negative. You know, we're, we're not even trying to bring it to a balance. We're trying to make it imbalance. Okay, I want my positive to overpower all the negative every single day. I'm only focusing on today and the positive thoughts of today. Then I, I'll focus on tomorrow when tomorrow comes, right? But we're going to focus, just staying focused in the present moment is going to help you be more positive and it's going to help you attract more things in life. So just focus on staying present every day, every hour, every second. Don't be thinking about yesterday. Don't be thinking about tomorrow. Just think about today. Take it day by day, you know? The next, the last card that we have is pendulum and decision. So with the pendulum, you know, they like to um, dangle it to see if it's a yes or no um, question um, on what choice you need to make. I'm seeing like this rainbow frequency. So um, you're, you're going to be blessed with whatever decision you make. You're going to end up being blessed. Okay. But also I'm seeing with this, how they, they act spirit. They act spirit to make the decision you know, to answer the question that they have on a certain decision they need to make, right? And I'm seeing you giving God the access to make decisions for you. So now you're going to be elevated. You're going to be in the best position because you're no longer making these decisions alone, right? And that's the thing. We, when we're young, young, they, they have that young and dumb type of, uh, what is it called? Um, stereotype or whatever. Um, of like how kids are not wise or they don't make the best decisions. People don't make the best decisions at a young age because A, they didn't choose to learn from other people's mistakes as they were growing up. B, they wanted to live a fast life and they didn't want to slow down. Some people just want to rush into things. And um, C, just making them without God. You know, I'm, I'm so thankful that God has put me in these situations because I I cling on to God more than ever at this age. And I'm so thankful that it didn't take me longer um, because now I've dodged a lot of bullets because <clears throat> I allow God to decide for me, God, what is best for me? What, what are the moves I need to make? And as I meditate, ask those questions, write it down, you know? So you, okay, this is the decision I want to make. Do I want to work here? Do I want to buy this? Do I want to eat this? God, I'm not making no decision without you. And that's what I see with this pendulum. Um, yeah, you're making divinely guided decisions. And that's the difference between you and a lot of people because there's a lot of people who are misguided, but you are definitely highly guided, okay? But that's what I got for you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.